We're going. All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Mid States Live. We're going to let everybody get built in here just like normal. So we'll have a couple minutes of everybody getting in here. We'll get our highs in, our low highs. So we got a pretty good show for you tonight. Um, so with that, we're going to talk some RLC sale. We'll get your guys' reaction to it, see what you guys thought. We'll talk. Yeah, we about predicted. We predicted that thing pretty good, didn't we? <laughs> pretty close. Uh, we'll talk about the next sale, which is next, next week, Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Yep, that next one. Tuesday. Will, yep. And we'll talk about Ashland, and I think we'll also open up tables tonight after the show for Norfolk. Um, let's see. We got a preview picture for the club car, but I don't know if I can get to it tonight. Um, we'll post it up on the page after the show. But it's pretty, pretty cool. It's almost, it's almost done. It looks like it'll be ready on time for later than we thought. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll talk. There's a link we that got posted earlier too. We'll talk about that. I think that's a pretty cool thing right there. Mm -hmm. good, good evening, everybody who's jumped in so far. I haven't seen any uh, comments yet, but I have not either. I haven't everyone. seen any comments yet either. So somebody shoots a comment. Make sure these things are working. Ow. No. We, there was also some craziness going on, too, with a bunch of people's accounts getting deleted. I don't know yeah. if you saw, saw that either. I think I heard something about it. But we keep losing viewers, so let's get this thing started. We're down to four. What happened? I know. <laughs> it's like every... I don't know. We, need to sh we need to show something pretty and shiny, and people will come back. <laughs> pretty and shiny pretty and shiny alright well you want to go that route first and then we can do pretty and shiny here too alright I don't know maybe this is weird because I don't see anybody talking and that's not I'm really not bad. seeing any either and normally people say hi when they pop in Give it hi Miss Kelly Miss Kelly or Kevin if you guys can hear us or see us Say something, something, hello, or so we know this thing is working, because right now we're not getting any comments. We might have to shut her down and restart her if we don't something if something yeah, start working here. There's Caven. Hey, hey, there we go. We go. Okay, we, okay. We, got, we got it. All right. Oh, All right, let's Lord. get this thing started. Okay, first thing first, let's talk about um, – what do you want to talk about first? You want to talk well, about your damaged we, box? Yes, let's talk about the damaged box. Oh um, yeah, you know this is this is everybody knows what this is. This is the shipper box. You know, I mean, and it's you know it, it, it's 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 hammered. I mean, it's it's pretty messed up. I mean, everybody knows what comes in these boxes, right? So if we open it up, you get my pink party RLC Nova. Gasser. Now, thankfully, the only damage is to the protector. This is why they ship these things. I got very lucky. My protector took a heck of a whack. But the card whoop, did not. So the protector did its job in this case, which is really nice because I really wanted this car and then I wasn't a hundred percent sure if I was going to open it yet or not. So, but yeah. So there's my pink party car for all those that you know. A lot of people got theirs. A lot of some people didn't get a chance to. But it is a very cool car. I guess there's a little roll on the on the back of the card, but I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, there's well, the back. And if I'll you notice, that. there there is no stickers. They don't number these. 
These are something that they just they quit. They only numbered, I think, one or two of these. But I mean, it's not a very, it's not a very bad roll. It's just a little roll. I'm not too worried about it. But the protector did its job. The box took a heck of a hit. Actually, hit took multiple hits because about mm, four or five minutes ago, Brent decided to travel six feet without walking, so it got thrown again. So. <laughs> and hopefully my knee won't won't be completely killing me to buy tomorrow. <laughs> it was almost as pink as uh, some of these cars. Yeah, it's and a it, little little bruise, a little tender. All right, so wow. it's the bend. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say your your car survived pretty well. Um, you know, we we talk, we're gonna talk about um, the RLC sale now. I think it pretty much went as expected, you know, in terms mm-hmm. of, okay, we got our 48-hour window, like they said. There wasn't a lot of fighting or competition or, you know, people No, because everyone had out. a, yeah, there was a window. Everybody could go in and get them, and it was, it was very easy. You know, I went in and got mine. And then I went in and got my second one just because I figured, what the heck, somebody might want one. So, but yeah, it was very easy. There was no stress involved, and it was kind of nice. <laughs> so, the the fallout from all of this was, you know, May time frame. Yeah, and, and this is where I think a lot of people are get concerned and or nervous because I think they go back to flashbacks of this casting but from selections of several years ago that and it didn't show up for what a year and a half two years almost uh, something like that uh, my thing is is I think Mattel's got this figured out now and how to do these a little bit easier if you looked at the last couple of selection cars, it's been right around a year from the time we get the, okay, this is the final version or edit of the car to when they start to ship. Mm-hmm. So I think they've, they've got a format or a process down now for it. And yeah, I'm just kind of interested to see what happens. Of course, you know, they could have a metal shortage. They could have paint shortages. Uh, they There could be another round of, of COVID again. I'm not going to say that for sure. But, you know, there, there could be something that comes up that we don't foresee that could slow these down. I'm not expecting it, but... But yeah. in, another, in another instance, um, the 41 Willys Gasser, you know, we paid for him last year. And if you actually go and look at your, your if yours hasn't shipped yet and you go in and click on it, it says it's back ordered until November of 22 or of 21. Okay, that's six months from now. And they're getting ready to come out now. So they're six months ahead of the game. So I think that that window that they give us is just a, hey, this is how long it could take. But hopefully it won't take this long. Because you figure the selections Willie's was the same thing. It was built to order and everyone was allowed to buy as many as they wanted. And then they went ahead and made, you know, and they were designing them as they were doing them. So it only took what? Five, you no. Know, well, it only about took nine. They're about seven, seven eight months. Yeah, seven, seven, eight months. So yeah. use that as the guide. Don't use, I mean, and we could be wrong. It might take over a year. I don't know. I'm not assuming it's going to take over a year. I think it'll be a lot sooner than that. So, you know, and, and unlike past sales that were of this format, um, where you had to make sure that your credit card or your debit card was good when they ship, now, as long as your debit card is current, your debit or credit card or whatever form of payment you use is current when that sale goes through then you're good to go but however comma being the good 
uh, people that we are, you always want to make sure that's up to date. So you don't have any any boo-boos. And of course, if you move in between now and the time the car ships too, you're going to want to get a hold of customer service so that you can get, get them that updated shipping uh, method too. Uh, I lost out on a bunch of cars from uh, <clears throat> my rewards two years ago because I moved and I didn't update my stuff and they got sent to the wrong address and it was ugly, but lesson learned. Oh, so, you know, that's kind of what my thoughts were on that. Um, what were your guys' takes? What was your overall experience when you come down to how Mattel and how you guys did the Mustang sale? I mean, honestly, I'm pretty excited for the car, too, myself. I like color on it. I like the wheels. Uh, I think short of the body kit ones from 88, 89, you know, the white convertible GTs, that's the only uh, Fox body that I don't think we've seen yet. Yeah. So, I think it'll look wanna, really sharp. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just want to get everybody else's thoughts here. I did see lots of good commentary from throughout the week um, from folks, but, you know, any more you know, is, is, is really good. And, you know, and I, I did see that some people were, you know, because of the time it was going to take, they decided against getting some of them because, um, you know, some people don't want to wait that long to get something. And that's perfectly fine. Um, there was, you know, just for me being, you know, curiosity killing the cat, I actually went on eBay and actually looked. And uh, there were people that were buying these on eBay for $100. And that kind of worries me because that means that there's a lot of people that don't understand how the RLC is currently working. And that I feel... I don't want to say sad for them, but I feel like somebody should have told them that even if you don't have a membership, you could have went on there, bought the car and bought a membership and it would have cost you $41 versus a hundred dollars. And then still had to wait through eBay for over a year or whatever it was till you get it. So, you know, that's one of the things I love about our little show that we do here. Cause you know, we can kind of cover topics like this. And if anybody has any questions, you know, feel free to ask during the show, or if you want, you know, email myself or Kent and, and we'll get to the answers best of our abilities. So. Okay. So we did have a question or a comment here that I thought was pretty interesting talking about numbers on the gasser. And I'm assuming we're talking about the selections gasser here. Um, you know, they don't put the numbers on there because it's made to order and that's what's kind of what's cool about it because you don't really know if there's a hundred or a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Realistically, it's probably not a hundred thousand. It could uh, be. It's probably somewhere around 20, maybe 10, 20,000. I don't know. Just depends on the popularity of the car. I mean, with the 55 gasser, oh my. The, Oh, there's 25,000. There's 30,000 of them. Yeah, we don't know. Nope. So that's, um, it'd be cool to see what the numbers are from year to year. But I think that's what part of the charm is for me. I, that's just my two cents on it. Oh, uh, let's see. Any other comments? Yes. Correct. The, the Nova gassers did not have numbers on them. Um, historically, the pink cars don't have numbers on them. I know the 510 did in Dallas. Uh, mine was like number 232 or something like that, or 222. The other thing that I wanted to show, too, that's different on this card versus even a couple of years ago is... If you notice, oops, right here, right where my finger is at, you'll see it says HotWheelCollectors.com. 
Whereas on the, you know, let's see, this one is pretty easy. Here on the Mustang, it says Redline Club. So that's another, I think, change that you're seeing because it's no longer, quote unquote, the pink party car that you get at convention. It's now just a pink exclusive car that you can get at um, any other sales day. Uh, a little disappointed about that personally, um, mainly because as someone who go, who's been to this most recent convention, you know, I ran the risk of not getting a car. So did Brent. Um, but yet on the flip side, there's um, an opportunity for folks who didn't get a go to get to have one of these without having to pay an arm and a leg for them. So I, I there's pluses and minuses with everything, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I hope yeah. you guys enjoy the car. I, I love it. Honestly, this is, they've done really well with this casting in general. I, I love the paint on it. I, I thought I'd have to give mine up to Robin, but she's not <laughs> have it. Oh, uh, so that's kind of what my thoughts on that. Uh, there was something else I saw this week too, was especially in the last couple of days. If you've seen it on the C4 page, and I think it's even starting to make its way around onto the newsletter page too, is folks are posting about Pokemon cards, football, baseball, basketball cards, and and what Target and Walmart specifically, because that's what was put out there by on the post. You know, people's behavior and going for these quote-unquote collectible items is insane. And somebody, I, I read on one post where somebody was shot. You know, that, uh, the, the one I saw, it was a, it was an alter, it was an argument that turned into an altercation that turned into a fight that in result, a handgun was pulled, but I don't know if anyone got shot. Okay. Or not. Okay, maybe I missed that part. So if, if I missed that part, I apologize. We want to make sure we're putting out accurate information. But regardless, Either way. <laughs> to get to a point where we're arguing and weapons have to be pulled is insane, if you ask me. I don't think we have that problem here. I, I've never seen it escalate to more than, hey, let me find you a car because I found this car. You know, yeah, it's just a toy, folks. I mean, yeah, and I don't think that the Hot Wheel community is that bad. I really don't. But there is people that are strictly in the stores going through things with the pure intention and sole intention of putting them on eBay to sell to make money. And there's nothing that we can do to counteract that. Unfortunately, I, I wish there was a way, but you know, that's like stopping, you know, a 65 year old grandma from walking over to the pegs before you get there and has a super in her hand and doesn't know anything about it, but she's going to give it to her grandkid because she likes the pretty colors. You know, are you going to slap grandma and take her cars? No. You're going to just tell her, hey, that's a special one, you know, and you might want to keep that one until he gets older, you know, or something like that. But I don't think that the hobby that we're in is quite that bad or will it ever be that bad. But then again, them going to almost altercation level to get Pokemon cards versus, you know, someone going into a store and just going, da -da 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 -da, and destroying everything and throwing cars everywhere. And then, you know, going through a dump bin and throwing all the cars in a cart and then leaving and leaving the whole area destroyed. And that's why we, that's one thing that I, uh, we, we've always preached was, you know, to leave the aisle better than you found it. You know, I do it everywhere I go. Every time it takes, it might take an extra five minutes, you know, the odds of you missing something because you fixed up an aisle. Probably not that big of a deal. Sorry, Evening I'm laying Ed. Is that, <laughs> Evening, uh, Ed. 
That's Manny. That Manny. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, passing some gas, polishing some gassers. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I like the way that sounds. Oh, so, man, he is not happy. Ooh. Well, since we're talking about, uh, let's talk about some cool stuff. Um, no. You nice want to talk about the Legends that, Tour? Yeah, let's do about that. Let's do some show and tell for a Legends Tour. All right. Hey, hey, that's awesome. I'm glad she went to go home with some cars. So cool deal, man. So while Brent's getting things ready here, he got some show and tell of his own from the Legends Tour. So Brent, go ahead and take it away. Well, you know, as everybody knows, if you went on and listened to their little show and things along those lines, you know, you got to spend money. $64 to be in fact which is kind of crazy, but whatever. Um, one of the bundles was a sweet air freshener, which I don't know what I'll do with. I don't know what I'll do with it. I don't know if I'll ever use it or not. It kind of smells. I don't know it, it, what burnout smell is supposed to be, but I'm afraid to open it because I've heard they're really, really strong. So we got burnout air freshener. And then even though it will not fit me currently, I got a 2X t-shirt. I don't remember what's on it. I'm not going to, I think there's, oh, it's a bone shaker. Yeah, that was the better one in my opinion, the bone yeah, shaker there's, one. It's bone shaker. There's the front end and there's the exhaust pipes and there's the cabin and there's the back. So yeah, it's got a bone shaker on it. So who knows, eventually I might get to wear this. And then of course you get to purchase what, I would like to say, I think it's the, I got to say it's been the best of the three Legends Tour, in my personal opinion, and just because I might be a little biased, but the 21 Legends Tour is the pink 83 Silverado. And again, no numbers, but it does say Legends Tour, which I like. You know, it's just a, and it, it has a barcode on the back, which I'm really curious because I want to scan it. But that would mean that I have to take it into a Walmart. And I'm not taking this thing anywhere near a Walmart because my luck is they'd be like, hey, you're stealing that and try to keep it away, you know, take it away from me. But, you know, it's got plastic in the back, hold it from getting scratched on both sides. You know, it's got the real rider five spokes on it. It's got clear glass. Mine has a yellow speck on the seat, which is kind of strange. I don't think you might see it through the back window there. It's like a little piece of yellow. So weird. But yeah, so that's the Legends Tour truck. Is that metal by metal base? Yes, it is. Ooh, there we She's go. She's a heavy one. So this this will go to my Silverado collection. I'm only missing a few, but not missing this one anymore. So very happy. I like this one. Now I just need to get the the military and the fire and then that chrome one. But I <sighs> don't think I'll ever have the chrome one. Oh. All right. I thought, um, did you get the, the Corvette? No, I did not. I don't, uh, I tried and I'm not going to lie. I'm not, uh, I don't know if I'm quite savvy enough to figure out how to do that. <laughs> I, I tried and I failed miserably because every time I clicked on it, all I could do was um, I ended up with the blazer and like a nine pack and something else. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to do it. So I'm going to have to call Mr. Johnson and have a talk with him and about how how to pull it off because he managed to pull it off. I don't suppose you have your truck, do you? Uh, I don't know. He might. So that's a no. You have it. You just don't know where it is. Okay. So, you know, Ashland's coming up this couple weeks from now. Um, hey, next, next weekend. Next weekend, actually. Yes. And, you know. 23rd. That's going to be a really, really good time. I have already starting to see folks who are starting to show 
previews of what they're bringing. And by the way, that is okay to do. If you want to, if you have some stuff that you want to bring down or what you're going to have on your table, that's okay to post that. Just say, hey, here's a preview of some of the things that are going to come be at the show on my table. Uh, we don't want to discourage that. We, we want to use that as a way to hype things up for folks. So one of the things that we will... But, but wait, one thing. Remember, there's no selling on the page, so wait until the show. <laughs> right. So there's one thing that um, a friend of ours, a very nice friend of ours, did for us. And a few people have them because we, we've just seen them and they were lucky to get them. But they'll be available in Ashland are these. These are stickers. They're vinyl stickers. They're, uh, they're a two type. They've got a protective coating over on this side that you peel off. No. And you got a... No. You don't, you don't put a lot of stickers on, do you? No. <laughs> you, you peel the back one off first, and then you put it on your window, and yeah. you use the protective layer on the front to make sure there's no air bubbles. And then you peel that layer off. But, I got a lot of stickers on cars. <laughs> but what it is, is it's basically the logo that's on the back of the shirts. Mm -hmm. um, it's slightly different than what is on the shirts currently. Uh, we have black walls on this one. And the Facebook logo's different. But these are free, folks. These are free. Uh, the club paid for these. They're our gift to you. We have that many. There's There was roughly about, what, 50 when we started? Mm, I believe it was around 50. So, yeah. And we can always get more made. It's not an issue. So, you know, just let us know and we'll we'll get you one. So we want to make sure everybody has them. You know, you're more than welcome to put them on your car or on your toolbox, or take the front protective layer off and trim everything up and put it on your, you know, just set it against the wall, or, you know, you do anything you, you want with it, you know. So that's one of the neat things about stickers. You can do anything a sticker can do. Um, when they come off and everything, they're not a block like this. They're, they're literally cut out to the shape of the uh, of the logo and the van and everything like that. So there's not a lot. It, it won't look like a, a block here or, or a rectangular form. Let's see. We'll also have our shirts with us. They'll be available for a purchase. So if you are wanting to have one of those, you can go ahead and grab one of them as well. They're comfortable. <laughs> We do not have a time yet whether or not we're going to be able to get in on Saturday for that. Um, we'll have that. As time, as we get closer to the date, we'll know if we'll be able to get in on Saturday so we can set up. I want to hear a person rip it off, maybe. No. Um, and that's, just a waste, that's just a waste of a sticker. Use the other stuff that is being used already. So go waste stickers doing that. <laughs> also, on that Saturday before our show, um, up at the sign shop, Aaron will be having a rummage sale, a die-cast rummage sale. So I'm kind of interested to see what that's going to be like. If you have time on Saturday to get up there, as it starts up at 8, go check that out and have some fun with that. See what you can come up with. And then come back down Sunday for us. Uh, I know we're going to have some really cool stuff. Um, you know, if you're looking to unload your collection, please just come on down, you know, pay the $4 trader fee and shop your collection out to somebody. And who knows, you might come away with some extra cash in your, in your pocket to use either towards regionals or just to put away for a rainy day. Uh, you know, so any questions on uh, Ashland or you know what we what we got going on?
Bueller. Bueller. <coughs> All right. And let's see here. What was what else was on the list for? Well Oh yeah. What? Hall of Honor. Oh Hall yeah. Honor. Most definitely Hall of Honor. Ow. Oh sorry, my knee is not happy. <laughs> so Michael Lee Wixom today sent over the link for the Hall of Honor. It's already posted on the page as well. Um, we've got that set up so that we can vote for that. And one of the people that's listed there is Barb and Dave Robles. And, and many of you already know that Dave is no longer with us. He has passed away. But Barb is still here, and everything that they've contributed, along with their son, during um, conventions shouldn't go unrecognized. They're, these these guys have been amazing to both their club and to Hot Wheels and diecast collecting overall. So I think it would be a great honor if we could get them uh, not only nominated but voted in for this Um this ceremony happens out in Las Vegas as part of the Toy Con, if I believe. And, you know, it's a great, great opportunity. If Mark Coleman's in here, he's been inducted into that, and he could talk a little bit more about it if, if he's on. But this is really, really a good way for us as club members and die-cast collectors in general to support somebody else who's given um, – a lot to the diecast community in general. So let's get up there. Let's get a vote in. Make sure that they get selected. I, I'm not sure if this process you can vote more than once, but if you can, do it. I don't believe. I don't believe so. Um, I've already voted, and I just to double check. I went and tried it again, and you know, and it, and it said you know your survey has already been submitted. So. I have voted my vote. So now I don't know if it's per device or what. So there's always that option too. Yeah. So if you can get in on one device and then get in on another device, please try to vote in for Dave and Barb. So that would be really, really cool to get them in there. Um, it's very well-deserved honor for them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Any comments or questions? Yes, there is a link to vote. It's already been posted on the page. I was trying to find a way to post it here, but I'm not on the Facebook feed. We'll we'll put it back up again. I think um, here I'll send it to Brent maybe. Oh no, that's not gonna work. All right, well, uh, we'll make sure to get posted after the show. Yep, definitely get it posted up there again. Uh, the next say RLC sale on May 23rd. Oh, man, I cannot wait for that car. Tell me about it. Yeah. It's got a sweet emblem on the front of it. <laughs> in, in case you guys don't know what we're talking about, it would be the, uh, be the, uh, the Gold Wing... Uh, the 55 Mercedes. going Mercedes Benz, and unlike the green one, the the green green one, the green one with the green wheels, this one is going to be solid chrome, and I'm looking forward to it. I think it looks really cool. I am looking forward to a point where I'd like to see. Honestly, I'd like to see a metallic color used or even maybe just a gloss, like a nice gloss red. That, didn't that car come in red one time? Yes, yes, it did. Oh, and Aaron comes through with the Hall of Honor post. Thank you, Mr. Aaron. You are the man. Yes, the original 55, they came in silver with red interior, and they came in red with, I believe, red interior and black with red interior. And I would like him to see, I'd really like him to see, to see them do just a silver, you know, 
I don't know if I have anything roughly that color. You need Something to grab about, one of your old 380s. Well, it's some like a color like this silver like this. It would stop picking me up and actually pick the vehicle up. But, you know, just a silver like that and then do it on the gull wing. I think that they need to do – as much as I like the Spectre Flame and the chromes and everything like that, I'd like to see a static color. I mean – then. Silver on that car is it, as much as the red is iconic. The the silver is Mercedes Benz, and and yes, short of a jet black uh, that you see on the 540K back in the day, mm-hmm. uh, that's the only other car, color I could see on that car. Stacy, how are you, sir? Thank you for popping in tonight. And, you know, we're just talking about the past RLC sale, a couple of the next upcoming cars as well. We we did put a little bug in for uh, Dave and Barb, too. So I think, you know, it's been a, a good mix of stuff tonight. Mm-hmm. You know, we haven't done complete show and tell yet. We, we've shown a few things, but I, I wanted to point out, Again, just some of the pink cars that, that have come through uh, the last few years as part of the the Legends, or not the Legends Tour, but the uh, National convention. and Convention. So this was one car that they did. I think this was a couple of years ago. This was the bug. It should doesn't have a date on the back or what it was? I didn't. Um, that one says... The bug says 2018, so that might be a 2019. And yeah. then there's the Corvette as well. This is a throwback to the original custom Corvette. And let's see here. We've got the Boss 302. That one said copyright date of 2020. So yeah. that might be, I can't remember if that's Charlotte or LA. This is a really, really cool car. Uh, I love the white spoiler and the splitter on the front some something's got to get open yet tonight as well and of course we did the preview of this car tonight as well again we pointed out oops, let me get over here the difference on Ow. the diecast the hot wheels collectors logo Ow. versus the red lion logo in here and here are some of my open ones and we've got a batmobile and we got a Datsun 510 now that one should be numbered it is and mine is 998 of 5000 that wonderful yeah, so holographic so there's that one and we've got an older one here. This is the 240. Now, this was back in the days when they were using baggies to do these cars. And there we go. On to <laughs> from Mr. Hatcher. And, and these do not have, but they actually had the convention logos on the back of them. And this one was, I believe, I can't read it. I can't read it. I don't know if somebody knows what the logo is. That's an LA. That's the same one with the sky, black skyline wagon. Okay. So, yeah. LA 16, I think, is what it is. And then this is probably my favorite, even better than the 240 or the 510. And this is the 70 power wagon. Um, just an unbelievable, beautiful car. Great in pink. And with real writers, and that was another thing too. There's very, there's not very many that have uh, real writers on them. Ooh, there's a Here's classic, the classic cord. cord. Nice shiny chrome base. Okay, so but yeah, they're really nice cars. And with that, I think you know, I talked to Aaron this week too. There's not very many tables left. There's not very many rooms left. 
now with that concert being announced with Brantley yeah. Gilbert, there's I don't there's know, gonna be a gonna be lot of people in the area that night and because the concert's what Saturday night? Yep, it's Saturday night. Nice. And I'm yeah, almost this... half tempted to go, but man, that's gonna be tough because I've never seen him before. Oh I'll pass. Like but yeah, I don't I don't mind him, but I just I got I got dinner planned Saturday night, so this is true. This is very true. So it, it's a tough choice for me, but I'll probably hang out with my diecast friends. Yep. Um, you know, with regionals, it's going to be just unbelievable how much fun, how many more people are going to be exposed to the more wider collector area. We have such a unique group of people that Aaron has invited to uh, come be a... Sorry. What? You, you froze for a second. You're like... <laughs> we'll catch that in the video highlights later. Oh, good Lord. I just watched it again. It was hilarious again. Oh, sorry. That's okay. We're here. I'm here for comic relief. <laughs> you know, we're going to get to see our old friend Lee... Yep. We're going to make new friends with, with Mr. Christopher and Mr. Michael. We're going to have some folks from California, some folks from LA or from North Carolina, folks from Arkansas. Um, I just can't believe how many different people in such a wide area. And there's some folks coming from Florida as well. We're going to see our old friends from Michigan and maybe from Illinois um, as well. I, I hear. Mr. Charles is trying very hard to get here, and we would love to see him again. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just going to be a really, really fun, fun weekend between um, with Dutch Legacy Project being here as well. That is going to be tremendous. I think we are going to get a Godfather appearance. Uh Oh. Um, we about to split screen this night? Yeah, but it won't let me add him. Hmm. I'm starting to think that something is kind of wonky tonight because we haven't yeah. had very many viewers tonight and we haven't had very many comments tonight. So I'm having the feeling that there's something wrong with the servers tonight. Well, it could be a... Oh, there we go. Add stream. Hey, I'm in the middle. Yay! Yes. Scary. Yeah, like I said, we were talking about earlier tonight. There was some funky weirdness on the reference check page that a bunch of people got deleted. And I don't know if it was anything that they did. I think it was more of a uh, Facebook voodoo. Mm -hmm. or face Facebook, Facebook has a tendency yeah. of being really annoying a lot of times. Well, Mr. Aaron, thank you for coming on tonight. What do you got for us? Um, how about a concert? <laughs> yeah, we were just. I got dinner. I got dinner plans that night. I can't make it. Well, the dinner is going to get moved up. So if anybody wants to go to the concert, they can. Oh, who want somebody want to go to the concert? Dude? Well, you never know, but I'm <laughs> I'm making it so that's an option for people. Cool. You know, I seriously tried to t tag him on that post, but it wouldn't let me do it. So. Well, you tried to tag Brantley. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually. <laughs> well, just he'll see. He'll see signs saying, "Hey, there's something going on over here." So come on over. Hey, yeah. you never know. He could pop in, and you know, if you know, we could figure out what like what kind of car he owns or something. Maybe get an autograph on it and see if we can get throw it up there for the auction. Right. Uh, no, I think we're gonna move up the time on the auction and on the dinner on Saturday. So that if somebody wants to go partake in the concert, they can. Uh, those tickets go on sale, pre-sale on Saturday morning. If anybody wants to get in on those, uh, Saturday morning, this Saturday morning, or yeah. And I think the code to get in on the pre-sale is Rockstar, and everything is capitalized. Makes very sense. cool. And then them concerts usually sell out there at the Hard Rock. 
it, it's you know um it's just like our shows people want to go to concerts too so um that hotel has less than 20 rooms left available for that weekend and what the gal told us is that no matter what go ahead yeah, and finish that, that up and then yeah we'll, that, uh, that question no matter what the hotel is going to be sold out so if you're waiting on a on a fence thinking hey i got time to get a hotel room no you don't no so if no. you want to do room to room i'm going to guess you might have a week to get a room and there's only three rooms left in the block Granted, they'll honor the the price if there's rooms left in the hotel, but yeah, it's uh, good with luck. a huge with a huge concert coming in that's literally right across the street. Correct. They're, the Hard Rock's going to sell out their rooms super fast, and then the next closest hotel is right across the street. So that's be us. ready. They're they're going to go quick. There's some people that may not even call the Hard Rock and may go straight to the to the, the uh, Stony Creek. Um, Stony Creek. Well, Hard, Rock. Hard Rock's only got like 40 some rooms. Oh, didn't know that. Stony Creek's got 162, and there's less than 20 rooms left. Yeah, you might want to get on that tonight, maybe tomorrow night. <laughs> you know, and if you've got a room, make sure you give Lonnie or I your name so that way you've got a lanyard waiting for you to do room to room because if we don't have your name, you don't get a lanyard. You don't have a room. You don't get a lanyard. No lanyard, no room to room. That's that's per hotel rules. Yep. So get a room if you want to go. All right. So we got a question from Nick and he has and he is asking, has the dinner place been finalized? That's been finalized for a while. Um, Do we has that location been put out yet? No, because we're gonna have a party bus pick us up and take us to it. What? Oh Lord. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is going to get interesting. <laughs> so there will be no need to move your car and lose your parking spot because with a concert in town, you don't want to lose your parking spot. No, you don't. Plus, and with the concert in town, you're probably not going to want to leave a lot of valuables in your car because the the criminals might come out and peek in car windows. There's so. another reason why we have lanyards because the whole security issue for that weekend. There, there's a lot of things that goes on behind the scene that we're worried about, whether it's security of your personal goods or your family. That's mm -hmm. why we have the rules we have going. And that's okay. what, that, that was something that the host hotel wants. So I got to yeah. do what they want. So yeah, are it's, there, it's their building. <laughs> correct. Question for you. I, I think that's been put out already. But will our guests be available for autographs, or is there a specific time, or is it just kind of um, whenever they're free? There'll be times set up. I have to get coordinated with them, but I'm sure they'll be open to autographs whenever. Great, great. That's important for everybody to know as well. Um, any new developments this week? I'm a concert <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what more you want. I mean, you, you got. I, I, I don't think we. I don't think we need anything more. I think we're. I think we're, got, we're. I mean, what what's out there is what's coming. That, that's it. Yeah. I'm not. I think we're stacked. It, it's it's way bigger than what it was last year. We can't ask for any more. We should. Uh, um, in a, and in awe of what's going to happen. Um, the level that we got coming. I think. Um. The only thing that's missing is the name Nationals, and we don't have that name. Nope. But we got the the level of entertainment here. Yep. Most um, definitely. Any new vendors that haven't been previously mentioned um, that would stand out or um, customizers that are I, coming? I, I think they're all out there. I cool. think they're all on the page. Great. Very cool. I'm excited. And I'm trying to think of anything else that we already haven't talked about so many times other than I am just super, um, super excited. The races are going to be on – are we doing them Saturday or Sunday? I don't I remember. remember. But um, Harley Knights is in Sioux Falls that weekend. Oh, good Lord. 
<laughs> Deb yeah. just commented that the Harley hot Harley nights is going on in Sioux Falls, and that's only an hour away. So there's going to be a lot of people in that vicinity. Wow. Yep. There's a lot going on in that I-29 corridor that weekend. A lot. So I just I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that if you're on the fence thinking about a room, that fence post is getting chopped down. Every day it keeps getting smaller and smaller. Oh, and it, it's, it's, it'll be sold out. The, the hotel is going to be sold out. They told us that on Tuesday that it's going to be sold out. So I hope and everybody that's coming has a good time. Make sure you, we got your names for your lanyards. Um, we're just and, building and a what, big show. What date does the rate change if the hotel isn't sold out by then? That sounds like a robot on my end. <laughs> you <laughs> said, what date if the hotel doesn't sell out, does the, the priority price go away? Oh, that, that's on June 6th. There we go. So as long as there's rooms left and you register through the link on the page they will honor that price as long as there's a room left which there but probably so. won't be <laughs> so it's really important to get it, it, out it, there it's it's really that important link. that if you want to even think about going you need to reserve a room because there's once they're full they're full there's no backup plan on rooms um there's no sister hotel, so to speak. There's no sister hotel. There's other hotels in town, but they're not a sister hotel, and they won't they won't honor another hotel's room key or anything like that. Our hotel is the only one that's getting lanyards to do the room to room. You this can stay at any hotel you want to come to the show. Perfect. That's, that, that's open to ask. the public. You don't have to stay at a hotel to go to the show, but if you want to do the room to room, you have to stay at that hotel. That's just hotel rules because they have a door in the hallway that'll be locked down to prevent the public going actually into the hotel. And, and, that's and what I if was you buy a lot of stuff, to. you can take it back up to your room. Yes. Hotel visitors will have a key that gets that unlocked. That That's how you get through that door. Someone from the public can't go through the doors. It's just a safety concern that they have. And it's a good safety concern to have. You know, um, at least if you're staying in the hotel, there's a way to track down who's in rooms. By If you have a lanyard on, if you lose something in your room, we can try to track it down. Granted, we're not responsible for lost or stolen items, but we can try to track it down somewhat with the lanyard system. Excellent, excellent. Very um, nice. Will there be a place for folks who are selling in the room to kind of uh, preview what they have available, or is it just going to be a oh we're going to walk room to room and get surprised? Um, I think we'll open that up on Friday once guys start setting up their room to room if they want to post pictures on the page of what they got in their room and post their room numbers. Right. But right now on the page, we're just putting on there the events that are leading up to it and what else is going on in the area. Um, we're just we're trying to build it up for that. Excellent. Sounds like a plan. Excellent. I mean, I'm so excited. You know, we've got, like I said, Lee's here again. You know, I Angela and Miss Angela are going to be here. And Bo. Chris, Oh, and Bo's Mr. coming too? Yeah. Get to meet a new puppy. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got Christopher and Michael, the dynamic duo. Diecast duo. They are going to be fun. Johnny Jimenez, he's coming. And he wants to buy your toys, folks. I, I, I have posted this in as many places I can see uh, that have been out there. Every time Aaron shares a picture, I... I put in there, you know, Johnny wants to buy your toys, so bring them up, folks. You know, yeah, clean out your closet. This is a chance to put some extra cash into your uh, pocket that you can turn around and use at the show. And he is bringing cash, he says. Yeah, so. Ooh, cash. 
I like that. I mean, let's let's show them what we got, folks. I mean, it, you're only putting in a little bit. You're only losing out if you don't try. That's my thing. Mm-hmm. Hi, Lee. Oh, that's what somebody. Lee, said. Lee Allen is in the building. What's oh. up, Lee? Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's get this party started. That's my brother. Hell yeah! <laughs> is his we love Mr. Aaron? Lee. Is that Aaron talking to Lee? That's my or brother. <laughs> or Lee talking to Aaron? <laughs> What did I miss? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Lee I says just, hi, Lee. Oh, <laughs> hi, Aaron. <laughs> there, there's a story behind that. I don't know. I know. Uh, we're good, Lee. We are doing very, very well. We are excited to have you and Angela and finally get to meet Bo. This is going to be a really, really good trip. And Bo will get to meet Axel, too, I think, right? Uh, Axel's might be over the weight limit. <laughs> <laughs> Axel's a young pup. It's he, a very he might be young, pup. but he's not a small pup. <laughs> no. Right. Ax- Axel might weigh Warren and Mur- Murph. And that's, In good possibility. She's a chunky monkey. But no, I mean, seriously, guys, if, if you want a room, it it's time. And they're not going to charge you right now for your room. At least get your name reserved on a room. That needs yeah. to happen in a bad way. If, if you're thinking about it, if you're if you're not, I mean, you, we'll still see you on Saturday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. And and that's a huge piece of it of information to know too, guys. You know, and you're not going to have to pay for the room until you check out. So, you know, so you can you can reserve it now, and you can have you don't have to pay for it until Sunday. So. That's a, that's a good thing to do, you know. If you want to go room to room and have that that spot right out the hotel to hang out and, you know, hang out with all of us and everyone all night long, you know, get yourself a room. Yeah, and, and remember, there's there's a lot of restaurants within three blocks of there. There's like 12 restaurants within three blocks of the hotel. You know, we got, we got the hot dog shop straight across the street. You got Famous Dave's next door. Within another block, you got three restaurants inside the Hard Rock. You have Burger King, Perkins, Chili's. And then another block, you have uh, IHOP, Hardee's, and Arby's. So, I mean, so there's lots of fast food options and sit-down <laughs> options for you as well. That's more choices than Atlanta had. So, <laughs> yeah, very true. And the, the, there was a mall, but you had to walk about four blocks to get to the mall. <sighs> So yeah, it's 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 growing. Uh, the um, convention bureau is on board with it. They're going to be handing out some uh, packets for everybody that stays, giving you an idea what else there is to do if, if you have any downtime. So it, it's going to be a good time. Well, I mean, it, it, we're starting to see people pop in and and talk about some of their plans. Zons so are wanting to do a huge, huge Super Sunday. And I can't see why we wouldn't be doing that as well. I mean, if if they would like us to participate, we will be more than happy to jump in with that. Um, Lee, it was great seeing you as well. Um, come hang out with us um, Sunday if, or Saturday or Sunday when you have a free moment. Um, I just can't wait for this. This has been a long year in the planning and you know, Aaron, the tip of the hat to you for everything that you've done to get us, get us in this area, <laughs> in into a position to have a really, really awesome show. So thank you again. I'd like to say that I got the concert lined up. I thought that would be cool for everybody, but yeah, I, yeah. I can't get that credit. I would have. <laughs> I would have done it. Yeah, and, but the guy, guy. I, you got to go through this to get the tickets, but I brought I got Brantley Gilbert to come. So, yeah, <laughs> special guest entertainment for the dinner, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's two blocks away, but if you just walk outside, you can hear it perfectly from where we're having dinner. Sweet, that'll be nice. So we'll get dinner and a show. <laughs> yes, well, a legitimate show. 
Hey, that one was a show too. Yeah, it was a good show too. Oh, what you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right. So yeah. No, Get seriously, no. I mean, I mean that that is something I can't emphasize enough. Is if if you're coming to the show, that that's a huge thing probably to be doing this week. Um. Uh, I entered. I put up the post about Mylon Plastics coming. She was trying to figure out what everybody wants so she knows what to have up here because she is shipping one pallet of protectors to the shop and she's debating whether to have another one shipped or not. Nice. So, I, Folks, take advantage of that. I mean, they are wanting to cater to you guys. So, you know, follow that post. Let her know what you want. I know, Ed, you've, I think you've said uh, kind of what you've wanted or made note of what they have. This is a transporter packet that holds these cars. And if Lee's on here, he probably knows these cars. There's mm -hmm. only like three sets of these made. But this is a transporter protector. It's awesome. Perfect. Yeah, and I, I'd like to get one of those transporter protectors so that I can put my 55 gas or candy striper next to the Type 2 candy striper. I think, I'd like I think I'm going to need a case of them. Yeah? I need... I need three for my uh, three exclusives. I don't need one for my Supreme because you know. it's not in the box no more. No, you liberated that. You right. liberated that poor thing already. And the and the one well, the one pallet is uh, Sterling Protectors is is one pallet that she's shipping up of nothing but Sterlings. Wow, those so are nice those ones. Are, those are pretty nice too. They, I think, theirs ranks right up with. Um, sterlings. If I, mm -hmm. they're, well, they're, there's they're also a shortage on. There's a shortage on single protectors right now, and people are having a hard time to get them. So for her to have a pallet of sterling protectors here that weekend, that's going to be huge for all the local guys. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, if you've got that rare car, that rare black ball, uh, rare red line, get it into a protector. Yeah, and then that guy's coming. I I need one of these. I want to. I, I don't. I don't have a protector for this, and I really want to get a protector on this car because I'm not opening this one. That one got some pretty ink on it. Yes, it does. Her protectors for Auto World trucks are great. Nice. Yeah, it's a nice protector. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're, they're nice product. They really are. They're nice, clear. They don't yell. I haven't seen any yellow like some no, of the Hot Wheels one. No. So, I take believe they get protectors from her too. They got protectors for Johnny Lightning too. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. Need yep. Get just me some of those. What you're looking for. Yeah, I'll have to do that because there's a there's a few of my Johnny Lightning White Lightnings that I don't want to open, even though Q would would want to liberate them, but no. Nah. We ain't liberating these. <laughs> All right. No, it's, it, it's going to be a good time. Um, oh, yeah. It, uh, the, the, the guy coming from, uh, what is it, TCR Collectibles coming from Long Beach? He's got an enclosed trailer coming. Full. Yep. I forgot about that. Have, he's got two 12 by 12 spots he's taken up. So he'll have a lot of things. We've got a guy out of Kansas City with a 12 by 12 spot. Um, we have a green light dealer coming. I got a dealer coming with uh, mini GTs. Nice uh, Dutch legacy projects coming. So I'm gonna be broke. Oh, sorry, I, I fell earlier. Yeah, his knee looks about as pink as some of these um party cards we showed. Yeah, like, as like I was coming stuff. into this room, I stopped about four feet from where I'm currently sitting and ended up about four feet where I'm currently sitting. So I traveled at a pretty good span of distance and I didn't walk, but I slid across the carpet for a little bit and my knee is, mm, it, it hurts to move it right now. So as soon as we're done here, I'm going to go find some ice. <laughs> no cars were harmed in the making of this video. No. And I can actually show you three of them that I was holding because we, uh, we didn't really talk about the, uh, the um, what was I going to try to think of here? I don't the know. Kroger mail-in. Oh, yes. Uh, so I know some of you guys saw, but some of you may have not. Um, 
I don't have the whole case with me, thank the Lord, because I would have thrown the whole thing. But I was carrying the new Chrysler Pacifica treasure hunt, which I actually kind of like this little thing. It's kind of cool. I was also carrying my That's ID67 nice. Camaro Falcon graphics livery. The no, seven or a nine? It's a nine. Um, nine. You're right. That is a 69 Copo Camaro. My bad. So, yeah, I was carrying my 69 Camaro ID car. I just went. I, I threw it pretty good. I just and, want you all to know I do like that Camaro. Okay. So, and thank the Lord, but. I was carrying my Porsche Outlaw Super as well. And none of them got hurt, which is surprisingly because I launched them pretty good. But yeah, there's there's the Outlaw in case no one has seen it yet. And this is not for sale. But uh, I was no, pretty happy. No, we don't have any Porsche. Iowa filters because... You guys got the Iowa filters to make you pretty? No, Dallas, No. We're already too good looking. We don't need filters. I really wish I had my Husker car with me right now. You'd be like, yeah. But oh, I, I heard the, it, it's mine's upstairs. Right go, on. go, go. <laughs> no, no Huskers. A and M. A and M. That's A and M. Yep. <laughs> and my brother did it. My brother Aaron did this. I know I've got an Aaron I've got an Aaron piece upstairs, but it's upstairs. So thank you, Ed. I appreciate that. Let's see here. See your brother rumbling. Aaron made this one right here. Oh, the look at that! Team ever. Brother Aaron made go. the dolphin one. Yeah, Aaron does a lot of cool customizations. He's a, he's a great guy. We should try to get Aaron for the show. He's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, he makes. I got I got all kinds of Aaron customs in here, you know. Here, Just a, remember let's... our trophy case isn't empty there, Dallas. <laughs> I have and your best and the best player in Iowa history um, is from Nebraska. Just to let you know that. I got some signs behind my head. There's there, a there and over there. The one from Aaron. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Aaron does amazing work. I, I think he's pretty <laughs> talented. Um, if he's still on here, I guarantee he's laughing. Maybe yeah, we should I, invite him on to uh, the, the regional show sometime. Yeah, we might have to. Oh. I, it was mediocre and they'd play on it. <laughs> And they like it. <laughs> yep. They're happy. I got something hey. that Dallas wants. Uh-oh. He can't have it. He's, He's still bugging me about a, a Larry Wood tow truck that I bought in Des Moines. Ah. Mm. Oh, I'll say it's six in a row. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. I mean, if that's the most thing you – if if that's one thing you have to be grateful for, then oh, well. Yeah, well, we could go, what is it, you know, see, I know there's 94 and 96 or 97. 94, 95, 90. There you go. We, we got six of those, too, but they're just a little bit bigger. <laughs> All I remember is Crouch, who is probably the weakest Husker quarterback ever running over an Iowa guy. All right, let's Ooh. stop talking. We're not talking Ooh. sports. Ooh, that? That's lanyards. No, that's Ooh. not lanyards. That's wristbands. Is that wristbands? Who what did they say on them? The rubber wristbands. Midwest Diecast Convention. Nice. Who, made the, who made those? I haven't seen those yet. Nobody has. Exclusive drop. What? So, nice. Yeah. See, look, you come in here and you can find all sorts of stuff out. I gotta awesome. figure out what I'm gonna rip live right tonight. I don't know what I want to open tonight. I'm thinking. Do one of these. Do one of them. I only have one. You'll get more. I don't want to open that one yet. <laughs> I'll just open this. Uh, That's pretty. 
That should be at my house. Or this one? That one can stay. Yeah, that one's nice, though. What's that? Rip stuff and talk more. <laughs> we're trying. We're trying to find something to rip. I, I'm still no, not if full. anybody's got any questions, don't be afraid to ask for regionals. You know, um, I want to keep that going, too. Yep. You know, I yep. don't. I don't want anybody saying, "Oh, I didn't. I didn't know this." Well, if you got a question, just ask. We're here. So, like we said, Friday, Friday night. Um, well, Friday day. Uh, setup begins at noon. Or setup earlier. begins at noon. That's good. That gives us gives us time yeah. to recover from from Thursday night. I will actually be at the hotel Thursday night setting up the tables. I know there'll be a uh, incognito. Uh, I don't know what the regional car is even going to look like, but these will be there. Um, I'm not, yeah. Uh, there'll be a birthday party going on at the hotel on Thursday night. Yes, we do. Um, uh, Friday setup begins at 10. The doors will be locked for the hall at 6. So that way everybody can go. Oh, now you got Ken. Ken Shack's in here. Nice. What? Yeah. Tequila shots. Ken. Oh Lord, I like me some tequila, but me and me and tequila get along good till about. The Ken's one of these on here to tell you about the Dutch Legacy Project because Ken's coming yeah. down with DLP. Him and Jeff. Yeah. Um, that that's a gotta happen. We gotta get. Well, them we guys get have a great thing going. Dana Dutch or Dana Ken Jeff. It, um, yep, Mr. Worshel. Joe, that, that's a great group of guys that are carrying on Dutch's legacy. Uh, what they're doing is is an awesome thing. Them guys, yeah, I'm, I'm honored to have them as well. Yeah, it's going to be a killer weekend. Yeah, it's going to be uh, really good. Tequila shots. Just talk to my wife, Ken. I'll, I'll I'll give you that much. Ask my wife where the tequila is when you find her. I like tequila. I'll come hang out. Who's that? Who's that? Sorry, I I'm, sent I'm, you a link. I sent I'm you a link. If you want to click on it, um, you are more than welcome to come on and talk about DLP if you would like. Um, right now, in fact, with our users. Uh, Ken's got a show going on in Forest Lake this weekend too, on yes. Sunday. That that's something that should be said. Um, I was looking for something fun to open. But... I don't know what Brent's doing. Ken's gonna bring a bottle, or Ken's gonna bring a bottle. The, the, I don't know who's gonna get more in trouble. Um, the antics that might happen at a sign shop. Or Jeff and Ken. Yeah, that, um, I saw a little bit of that earlier, and that I think uh, I'm going to vote for Jeff and Ken. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I don't that, know. that was a quick, yeah, that was a quick, awesome little uh, exchange. I don't know what Brent's doing, but you know, I was just hey. looking for something fun to open. He's looking for the crack that tripped him earlier. No, I, I know where that is. And, it's already been dealt with. Oh, there's a tow truck. Nice gold chain well, one. While we're waiting for Brent to come up for air, we're going to open this. What are we opening, Kent? I can't see the screen. A 66 Nova uh, pink car. Oh, you're going to open your pink gas? Yeah. Wow. I hear the plastic twinging. Yeah. See, there you go. Oh, we might have a new uh, door lanyard too. This card survived pretty well. Oh yeah, that was super fun. There it is, folks. Your '66 um, Nova party car. Old shiny tow truck. I know what Dallas wants to see. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he wants to see the convention one. Yeah, he. Well, I have, I, gonna, I have it, but I ain't opening it. So I got both. I got opened and loose. I That's why Dallas is jealous. 
I don't have that one I'm loose, say, is this and I probably rolls. won't have it loose. This car rolls really, really well. One. Mm. Okay, so we have got a Ooh. new arrival here. We're going to add to the screen. Please welcome Mr. Ken Shack to the show. Ken, thank Uh-oh. you for uh, accepting our invite, and thank you for uh, coming on real quick. Um, anything that you'd like to share with us about the Dia, uh, Dutch Legacy Project? Absolutely. Uh, first of all, thank you very much, guys, um, for allowing me to step in here and, and tell you about the DLP. Um, for everybody that didn't know uh, Dutch Acres, is it me that's got uh, making all that noise? No, no that's me. I'm sorry. I'm done. Oh, though. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Um, for everybody that doesn't know, uh, the DLP is the Dutch Legacy Project. Uh, Dutch was one of them guys. You guys are assholes. You're going to get me all choked up here. Uh, <laughs> sorry, man. Um, Dutch was one of them guys that, that when you met him, you could meet him for two seconds or two hours. Uh, he always had a smile on his face. Um, he was always happy to meet you when when Dutch talk, or you talked to Dutch, you were the only thing that mattered. Um, it did, there could be bombs going off and everything, but you were Dutch's focus. Um, he was just an all around good guy, hated drama and was probably one of the best customizers I've ever seen. Um, all his cars were freehand. He didn't use an air, airbrush or anything. It was all freehand. I've got a 37-minute video of him hand-painting a second wind with awesome, identical matching side-to-side. He was unbelievable. But he was diagnosed with uh, lung cancer, and shortly thereafter, he was given out of the blue – uh, where Dutch lived in Illinois, in McHenry, they have a program. It's the uh, Purple Plunge, and they go and jump in the ice cold water in the winter and raise money to just give away. There you go. Thanks, Aaron. Um, and uh, when Dutch, I want to say he was probably he was working on his treatments already. He had a knock at the door, and the Purple Plunge showed up. And gave him $3,000 out of the blue. We still don't know who nominated him or how they found out or anything. But out of the blue, they gave Dutch $3,000 cash to help pay for his bills or whatever need be. So when, when he did pass, we ended up buying his collection. We still have some of the cars that we're working on selling. But that is what goes to the DLP to help us help people that are in need, whether it be um, somebody that has cancer or uh, something along that line, um, help with bills or food or whatever, a vehicle breaks down or worst, worst case scenario, help with uh, funeral expenses. So, uh, we're going to be bringing a bunch of stuff to the to the to the show. Um, I want everybody to stop by. You know what? Come up, call me an asshole, call me whatever, but buy something from the DLP. Yeah, I mean that's the whole thing. The DLP is meant to be a self-generating fund to continue, like Ken said, to help people who need need that help in a time of crisis. Uh, you know, Dutch had that given to him out of the blue, and this is our way to continue to honor Dutch and to honor what he stood for 
And, you know, I think what um, the whole team is doing is a tremendous thing. So kudos to you and, and his um, to everyone that's involved in that. I'm going to see if I can – let's see here. Uh, looking at my case right now to find um, – oh, dang it, I had it out too and I can't uh, – I will bring I will bring the car with that Dutch, the very last car that Dutch did as a custom, um, he did for loss or for Dallas, um, and before he passed, he told his girlfriend Dana that I was to get that car, oh, and awesome. it's it's my honor to to own that car now. Uh, it took second place in the custom contest in Dallas at the national. So I will bring that car with me so everybody can see it. Um, if anybody wants, I can send you the video of Dutch painting it. It's, uh, I, I have never met a single person that had a bad word about Dutch acres. You know, yeah, I, I haven't either. I mean, I've only met, I only had an opportunity to meet him once in Chicago in 19. And like you were saying earlier, I was the sole focus for the, the couple of minutes that I got talked to him with. Yeah. Which you, don't, you, don't, you don't see that too much these days. So that speaks a lot to who he is. And now we have a question for you. And that question yes. is, do you just take donations? And that's from what, Mr. Reagan. Uh, what do you mean? Do we just take donations? Cash. Um, oh gosh, or... yes. Gosh, yes. Um, anything. Yeah. If if anybody wants, um, it's uh, Dutch Legacy Project at gmail dot com. Perfect. So again, uh, Dutch... I think it's I think it's on that business card that you showed. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll post that into the on the page too for you yeah, yeah i appreciate that really and if cool. and if you and if everybody would everybody that's watching if you would go on facebook and to the to the dutch legacy project and like the page you will get updates on where there's auctions happening where the dlp is going to be um the new things that are available there's t-shirts there's stickers there's uh original dutch artwork dutch was just like Aaron, he was into um, making signs and stuff. Uh, Dutch did some unbelievable things with banners, and uh, I hate. I sorry, guys, that I'm taking all your time here. Oh, no, you're oh, fine. No, no, no. This is your opportunity to to share and spread the word about the Dutch Legacy Project. So please, you know, take your time, um, share with us whatever you'd like to share. Um, I can't. Another piece I can't find. Um, I have a. He made he made card backs. Um, <clears throat> if you guys have seen his card backs, man, he they're oversized card backs. They were the yeah. coolest thing. They were the coolest thing. But he did all kinds of different ones. He did the original Hot Wheels. He did the, the spoilers. Um, Real writers. I, yeah, Hero. real riders, uh, superheroes. So, candy striper. Yeah, the, oh, his candy striper one man is like off the hook. Yeah, it's yeah. it's one I would like to get in my collection, even if it's a reprint. But I would definitely like yep. to get one of those. Yep, guys, I I I gotta say thanks a lot for letting me ramble here tonight. I appreciate it. Not a problem, man. We, 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 we enjoy learning about everything. So a lot. it's nice for everybody else to get to know about what's going on, too. And you're welcome to come on anytime you want. Um, we'll have you on again if you'd like. Uh, thank you for coming on. Absolutely. You know, and, uh, hey, thanks for thanks for uh, giving my show a, a little prop, too. Oh, not, yeah, not a problem, man. I'm going to try to escape and come your way someday, Ken. Hey, do it. <laughs> how, what, how, uh, how how far a drive is that, Aaron? Uh, I think it's like four and a half hours of the Twin Cities, so it'd be another half hour to you, so it's like five hours. Five, five and a half hours, which I'm fine with. 
I'll drive the ambulance up and we'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> Leave oh, yeah, early and ambulance. get here early. Yeah, definitely. So you know, here's something I bought from I think it was Joe. It's one of Dutch's Evos that Dutch had. Yeah. You know, and, and how you say Dutch touched people? <sighs> this this is signed from Chang to Dutch to the Dutch man. Oh, you were telling me about this. So, so this to me meant something because I know Dutch touched it. You know what I'm saying? That that that's something that means something to me because I bought cars from Dutch in the auctions he did, and and like you said, Dutch and I do the same business. Um, the biggest thing I kicked myself in the butt for is Dutch asked about doing a race car for me one time, and I should have just let him do it. But I just I already had mine designed, and I was like, I already got it done. And then that fall, he got the bad news, and it's like, yep, I'm kicking myself in the butt still for that. Okay, so I did, I did, I did find. Um, there's a gentleman by the name of Terry McMahon, uh donated some cars back to the or to the Dutch Legacy Project to be auctioned, and one of them that he uh, donated was this. He bought. Terry had, or Ty, I'm sorry, had bought this in an auction of Dutch's items and he donated it back. But I don't know. Oh, I've seen the pictures of this. This is beautiful. Yep. I know exactly which one that is, too. That's insane. Yeah. He, like, I mean, you look at it. I got to figure out where my camera is here on the. No, oh, you're perfect. But there's we're hitting the wheel, wheels right now. There's no, there's no marks on where the where he molded it together or anything. Wow! But yeah, I can guarantee, you, I can guarantee you, all that right there is all hand painted. That's impressive. I yeah, look, even. I want to say that, that's in that new book yeah. I got. That makes me just like not want to customize anything ever again. Yeah, he oh, detailed wow. the bottom. And if you look from the top down, he detailed down in the engine area too in the center of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's when just it's beautiful work. I don't know where the camera is. Right okay. there. Uh, yeah, we're getting the high voltage right now. So you're it's just unbelievable. You Might want to raise yeah. it up just a little bit more. So we, yeah, there's that engine work that we were talking about. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen I've seen pictures of that, and that's that's a very very cool piece. So, yeah. So, Ty Ty donated that back, and uh, so that'll be in one of the auctions again. I don't know if I can see if I can do this. How do you turn this damn thing around? <laughs> Uh, there should be like a little wheel there, and you should be have yep. camera mic, and you should yeah. be able to go to a rear facing camera. There should be a oh. rear facing camera option. There should be. Damn technology. Yeah. yeah. Crap. <laughs> no, I lost. No, I don't know where you guys went. Oh, you're still here. We can see you. We still see you. Yeah. <laughs> you went away from there. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's unbelievable. Yeah. And what was yeah. the original casting that was used? Uh, that way, it starts with an M. M A. Is that a mega thrust? Uh, yes. Yes. I was thinking torque thrust, but uh, yeah, it's a mega thrust. That's insane. No, it, yeah, just the detail that was done on that is amazing. But so. There you go, guys. I'm going to turn this back around. Da, 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 da. Let's see. It's a whole other process. To turn it back. There, there, you there is. Hey, you're, you're better than I am because I, I. Yeah, I, great, I, great, great. But I, I don't know where you guys are. <laughs> we'll we'll show well, up here in a second. All we, I see is me. So we've got Sioux City, Blair, and Norfolk in here. So we got some <laughs> Iowa and Nebraska going on, and Minnesota. So we'll we'll show up eventually. But no, thank you again for showing those pieces. What to was us. that, Aaron? Trains. Oh, oh. 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 trains. 
thought you were electing a pope or something. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Losing you guys. That's Saturday night. Oh, very cool. All right, guys. Well, I'll let you uh, – I'm going to jump off here. I'm going to leave you guys and, and sit and watch and listen. And cool. throw up, throw up some comments and harass you. <laughs> hey, we love the peanut gallery, whether the yeah. peanut gallery is oh. in Baltimore or down in Minnesota. And Aaron, <laughs> Aaron is completely frozen. He yeah, awesome. Aaron, uh, you need to move, dude. You're <laughs> stuck. <laughs> That's perfect. All right, guys. Hey, thanks Good for having day. me on, and and uh, take care, man. Yep, thanks right, man. We'll see you for later. coming on, and thanks for sharing. And we'll see you all in a little bit. Yep. All right. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Peace out. All right, Grant. That was Mr. Uh, Ken Jack with the Dutch oh, Lake. Well, there went Aaron. So I think we should just finish it up for the night. You get the last car. It, it took me a minute, but I remembered I bought something. And so I'm going to go ahead and rip this one. And I should probably save this for nationals because this is going to be, this is a Kent level rip. This isn't, this is, this is, this is a very nice one. This is the 1950s Chevy truck. Oh, <laughs> you know what this is, don't you? <laughs> yeah. It's got, this, it's got this little shiny thing over here that says one of 3000. Didn't you get this in Atlanta? No, I got it before I went to Atlanta. And this is a one of 3,000 Comic-Con exclusive Ultra Hots COE. That's awesome. Rip it. Rip like it. I said, th this is a Kent level crazy of, of fun here. Yes. And you know what the neat thing about opening this thing is? Is it had a protector that fits this thing. <laughs> Bonus. All right, so here we go. One of 3,000 exclusive. And because I feel like being a little bit on my – a little bit on the crazy side here, just because it's it's a one of 3,000 here. Don't ah, cut yourself. I didn't. I just wanted to make sure I cut right through that exclusive oh. ribbon there. One of 3,000. I have wanted to do this for so long, so – don't drop it. I'm not going to. <laughs> 50 gold stars for Brent. There we go, that folks. It's cool. I think it's heavy. And I'm, I love the fact that it has the tilt bed on it with the engine underneath. It's got wood bed. I mean, it's got some amazing artwork on the roof. I can get the camera to focus. There we go. And it's got flames down the side. It just won't focus. There we go. Now it's there we go. But yeah, it is a very, very nice piece. And it actually says San Diego SDCC on the back 06. So nice. There we go. Like I said, I should have, I should have saved this one for regionals, but too late. She's free now. Just means you'll, have, you'll find something else. Yeah, I'm, I might have to rip something a little crazier for regionals. Maybe I'll do something like this for regional. Yes. Or maybe something similar. Maybe do like this and this for regionals. So who knows what I'll do? All right, and it rolls. Hey, thanks for coming on tonight. Um, thanks for showing up with us. You never know what's going to happen uh, when you come watch our show. You never know who's going to hang out with us. We had a Lee spotting. We had an Aaron uh, jump in. Mr. Ken Shack with the Dutch Legacy Project hopped in there. I mean, Ooh, Ken, that's a good idea. We might have to do a, B, a BPL. Blackwall Liberation Ooh, oh, I, I've got. A I like to do. I like that idea. I might have a couple that I can. So, there you go. Folks. Have, I got a challenge now. I'll start digging for some black walls. 
It's a all black right. wall. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good time, folks. Be there. We'll see you all. We'll post up again that link for the Wall of Honor, and we'll post that preview pick for the club car that we got from Mr. Dave as well. Don't forget, Ashland is coming up May 23rd. Next weekend. Ah! This weekend, go see Ken Shack up in Minnesota if you can. And then Saturday morning on the 22nd, we've got the um, – at the sign shop, we've got the rummage sale going on. So lots of great events coming up, lots of good times. Um, we'll see you all in a couple of weeks. And I think there's a show in Sioux Falls on the 23rd as well. Mm. And there's the link for the Dutch Legacy Project. All right, guys. Good night. Thank you all again. And I'm going to go ice my knee. <laughs> yeah. Night. Night.